Whoa. Hey, what's going on guys? It's Syslunar here, and do you want to figure out how to do what I just did? Well, it's quite simple actually, but in order to do this, you're going to need to be a rogue first of all. So yes, rogues do get yet another uh, item, so rogues are definitely getting some more love than the other classes. Uh, basically, you only need two things. You need Glyph of Detection and Glyph of Disguise, and these two things are easy to get, obviously you're just going to want to go check out the auction house on your server, hopefully they're going to have them, if not it's going to be a bit more difficult to get, but they should have them. So you're going to need to head to the Ravenholt Manor, some of you may remember this as where you went to rescue Rathion for the legendary daggers back in Cataclysm, well you're going to come back here and right over here on this mountain is Racelex Ghost. I believe that's how you pronounce it. Anyways, so you're gonna stealth and with your Glyph of Disguise, you're going to go up and pick his pocket. Uh, I've already done it because I just here recently got the item, but you're gonna copy his appearance and that's gonna come in incredibly useful coming up here. So because I can't mount, I'm going to sprint over. And we're going to go down into the basement where Rathion was when you would rescue him back in Cataclysm when you were getting your legendary daggers. So head right in here through the front door, obviously. Go down the stairs, and as you can see, Rathion's no longer here. But over here is occasionally a little sparkly thingy, but right under the staircase, go over and use detection that you learned from your glyph of detection. And that will summon Orser, uh, assuming that's how you pronounce it. From my knowledge, they're based off of a novel that I have not read, or something. Uh, speak to him, return as my master, I am your master, and normally he will say you are not my master, but since we do have the disguise, he is going to say, close enough. And were you to do this without the bag, this bag, the survivor's bag of coins, as I have right here, you would get the bag from him. And the way that the bag works, turning off this because whatever, the way that the bag works is you have to pickpocket targets to get these coins, and as you can see, throw one of the coins to the ground, propelling yourself in the opposite direction. So, this is a fun vanity item that I noticed. Uh, let's get up here. Right up here. Hopefully this doesn't, no, it won't kill me because I have safe fall and glyph of safe fall. Anyways, so use Survivor's Bag of Coins right, let's say we use it right here. Oh, hang on, I want to see what's here. <laughs> My bad, there's another sneaky marmot. Okay, so use this, throw it, and it propels you in the opposite direction, quite far in fact. So I can actually see this being used for some pretty fun purposes. But uh, there you go, that's a sort of secret item that you can only get as a rogue. And I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you do, go ahead and give it a like, and... Hopefully we'll be able to see a bunch of bouncing rogues here in the future. So, I'll see you guys in my next video. Right after I die. And therefore it does not negate falling damage. Alright guys, I'll see you later.